All right, Space Attack. I've done loads of different uh, Game Boy Macro mods over the years. Uh, screen switch mod, uh, but there was one that's always eluded me as a TV out mod. I don't know if it's because it's hard to get hold of the board and the parts to make it, or that it's quite expensive. Um, I just haven't, it hasn't really been that interesting to me until I seen a post where someone claimed that you could do it with 10 resistors and I just had to literally drop everything I was doing and try this mod out and it could not believe that it actually worked. Did it on this one. Um, I'll give you a quick overview of what actually it does. It basically gives you a composite video out. I've got a, a car backup camera here. I've got it connected to um, a 3.5 millimeter to uh, stereo RCA jack. So I connect that up and that's connected to the input. There's no speaker here, but you normally get mono uh, audio out. So you turn it on. Of course, because this one's got the screen switch mod on it, you can switch the screens between the top and bottom. You can display uh, GBA, so you can make this into like you could have. Uh, I've done one with the uh, flush GBA port um, with the video out, and it's quite nice. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a quick overview of the kind of mod. I won't give you full instructions, they'll be on my blog post in the description below uh, with the schematics, better pictures, and stuff. But I'll give you a quick uh, sort of gist of how I uh, how it's achieved. Let's get out of the way, let's go a bit big Clive and get some printed out photos. So this is the back of a board, back of a, this one I have done the mod on. So as you can see, this is the back part. You've got five solder points. This base, this mod, you're kind of going to need, you're going to need some magnification or really young guys because there's some uh, vias that you have to solder to. Five vias and then obviously these, the P, P10, P11, P12, they're for the switch screen mod. So you need to solder to these. They are quite small, but you can, just with a normal standard uh, solder nine tip, you can solder to these points. It's not too bad. I normally use a, um, a tweezer and like kind of put it into the via and just spin it a bit just to kind of get the uh, sort of coating off and you can solder to them quite easy then. But yeah, I've got, there's like, what there is, is a resistor. This is what I did in this one, this mod which was got a bit of Kapton tape, sticky side up, stuck the resistors to it in this formation. It's basically, um, I'll show you, there's a, there's a schematic in the, in the blog post, but this is kind of like the orientation of them. They're kind of all soldered together. If you've got, these are 1206s, um, if you get them, just stick them down onto this because then they won't move around when you're soldering and you can just solder to it. It's super, super easy to do. And, and then you can just fold it over. On this one, I, removed the sort of shielding can off the back of the uh, Wi-Fi uh, board and then you can get get enough space under there to either put your your bare resistors or I made a board board for mine. What you do is basically you have ground in one side which is on the uh, you'd have ground coming in here coming in this top one uh, and then you would have these five points here which are uh, to the five points on here. And then you have the last one, which has video out, which goes to down to your headphone jack down here, which is your... But also there's one thing to remember as well. I forgot this when I did, I did this, uh, I did this mod and then I made this board and then I come to do another mod and I was like, why is it getting interference on it? I basically had to fig I forgot to remove this uh, resistor on the front here because otherwise you get interference on your um, your video out. But yeah, it's, it is literally that simple. Like if you do this method, it'll, it'll literally cost you the price of your resistors, but a Kapton tape, a bit of solder, and it's achievable, and it looks really good. And just, uh, yeah, you can just stick your, stick your switch screen speakers up. Uh, you probably only really need the, the, uh, the switch screen uh, button, so you need one button just to switch the screens. Uh, with this mod, I have used a PSP 1000 speaker because then it kind of sits just down here, out the way. And then you don't need to remove the top screen connector for the uh, Nintendo Switch speaker. But it's really nice. The only thing, the only trouble is you can't do, you can only do this to a macro because if you do it to a, a DS with a top screen, the top screen isn't going to get displayed f for whatever reason of this mod top screen will just stay blank or I think I had it when it's like been like a magenta color so it's um you can only redo it to macro unfortunately it would be nice if you could have it in a in just a normal DS and you can have the video out as a, as an option 
Um, but with the switch with the switch screen, you can kind of get away playing most DS games anyway. Um, but yeah, as usual, description in the blog post, more information, um, better pictures. This picture didn't come out by the green. Uh, it was a bit muted on this. But yeah, I think it's a really fun mod and it's really cheap to do compared to paying like the $70 that you would do for a video outboard. Um, you could, you could if you wanted to, have um, the stereo speakers uh, sound. If you didn't want to use the um, headphone jack method like I'm using, you could have um, some kind of like 3D printed um, things sticking out with the RCA jacks and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, do whatever you want. You be you. Uh, as usual, thanks for watching. Bye.